On May 30th of 2016, Liliana Moreno and her eight-year-old daughter, Daniela, went missing, a case that has left people questioning till this day. The desperate search for a mother and her young daughter continues, but the case, it just keeps getting more complicated. The disappearance of Daniela Moreno and her mother, Liliana. Who have not been seen in more than a week. A missing mother and daughter. Under suspicious circumstances. Since anyone has heard from desperate search. The two were seen haunted Miami-Dade detectives. The two had been last seen in their condo in Doral, Florida at 11 in the morning. Police found their door locked with Liliana's personal belongings all at home and untouched. The case has still not been solved to this day, leaving everyone without an answer. I met Daniela when we were both really young. We were just in kindergarten and I had just transferred to the school, so I didn't really have much friends or like people to talk to, but she was one of the first friends that I made when I transferred and she was in my class up until second grade and I didn't realize then but she had made such an impact on my life and then once in second grade I just never saw her again. Avril Cespedes studied with Daniela at John I. Smith here in Doral up until 2016. She had to deal with the news of the disappearance as a second grader. I was really young when it happened and at the time I didn't understand what was going on my mom had told me that I would no longer be seeing her and that she wouldn't be in my classes. And now that I'm older and I process it, it just hits kind of close to home because I was so close to her and she was my first friend and I could just tell I would miss her. Now that I'm older, I just think about what could have happened to her and her mom and I just hope that they're still out there and in a safe place. However, this case is not 100% a mystery. Police considered Gustavo Castaño a person of interest. Gustavo was Daniela's father who wanted nothing to do with her or her mother until years after she was born. Paola Martinez and her father Luis Martinez were very close friends of Liliana, with a lot to say about their thoughts on what happened. My first reaction of when I heard about the disappearance was that um, I was very devastated obviously because I was about 13 or 14 at the time, so it was very new, like the whole like, um, that type of like scenario so it was just weird to hear about it and my dad was really really close to her so he was very devastated when he told me so obviously it impacted me because I had never seen my dad in that type of state of mind. To help um, find them there was a lot of like stuff posted on Facebook and stuff. Um, the police were trying to but they, I don't think they did too much work honestly um, towards the case. Um, there was a lot of like search groups like that my dad and his friends had conducted to see because um, the last place they were seen was like t on the turnpike and stuff so they were like trying to figure out like maybe she was like um, around there like in one of like those little forests near there so yeah they've been looking a lot but since um, a couple years now they haven't done anything it was just only that year. Although Gustavo was the main suspect the case has not been solved to this day. The information found about him showed that he dropped them off in the middle of the road because of a fight he had with Liliana and his daughter. He said that was the last time he saw them. When police was given the news of the disappearance, they went after Gustavo to find that he had attempted suicide shortly after. The police had to tase him in the eye for him to cooperate and he was later taken to the hospital. Reasons for his attempted suicide are still not known, but are figured to have to do with the case. My thoughts on Gustavo and what he had to do with the case. Um, I personally do think he was the one that had something to do with the disappearance. There was a lot of evidence found against him, like pointing to him. So I don't know why they didn't look into him and all that stuff. I, my family and I personally were never close to him. And we thought he was shady because he did have a lot of problems with Liliana. He did threaten her a lot. We've been there. We've seen the text messages of him being very violent towards her. So I personally do think that he has something to do but I don't think um, he was a good dad or anything like that to Daniela. With no answer found, Paola Martinez's father, along with Liliana's siblings and other close friends, conducted multiple search groups in hopes to solve this mystery. Este fui o soy eh, muy amigo de Liliana Moreno y Daniela. Este hasta el día de hoy todavía no sabemos nada sobre ella. Eh, cuando me enteré del caso, eh, bueno, el caso no, cuando me enteré que me llamaron de Colombia que <coughs> sus hermanas 
que no se veía nada de, de Liliana. Fui inmediatamente al apartamento, tocamos, tocamos, tocamos y nada que, que aparecía, el carro estaba ahí. Y nada, llamamos a la policía, abrieron la puerta, la rompieron y cuando entramos, <coughs> en ese caso ella, yo era como su, eh, Daniela, me decía que yo era su tío abuelo. Eh, de inmediato empezamos a buscarla por todos lados y bueno, fueron muchos días, muchos días de trabajo que de ella, porque cada hora que pasaba, cada minuto, cada segundo, se hacía súper difícil. Eh, día y noche estuvimos metidos en montes, lagos, eh, fuimos a los Mikosuki, eh, por todos lados, hemos estado en todos los pantanos, charquito, callecita, eh, terrenito, aquí en el Doral, y en todo Miami, y nada todavía. We tried to come in contact with local police or detectives to speak about the case, but it was unsuccessful as they did not respond. Ya hoy completan cinco días desaparecidas y, y el tiempo no nos ayuda. Yo creo que ustedes se dieron cuenta de lo que acaba de suceder. Hasta el día de hoy estamos en el 2021, ya se va a acabar enero y no sabemos nada de Liliana ni de Daniela. Seguimos buscando, seguimos hablando con la policía, pero no tenemos it's crazy how a situation like this has hit so close to home. This mystery remains unsolved, meaning Liliana and Daniela Moreno remain unfound.